There is an interesting company that is just starting a new way of branding your death. That's right, the Urban Death Project. Let's take a look at their website real quick. Uh, and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some information. So that's the landing page on their website. And as, as you can see right there, it says, because death is momentous, miraculous, and mysterious, because the cycles of nature help us grieve and heal, because our bodies are full of life-giving potential, we propose a new option for laying our loved ones to rest. And now I'm gonna tell you a little bit. The idea is centered on the core, a three-story concrete structure upon which the deceased are placed. So you can see it right there. The body is laid upon a mixture of sawdust and wood chips, which are crucial to the composting process. As the body settles to the bottom of the core over the next month, visitors may pay their respects along the sides of the structure, which is warm to the touch as a result of what's happening inside. I mean, that is fascinating. I love that. At the end of this process, friends, family, and members of the community are given a nutrient-rich compost that the recently deceased has now become to spread right amongst their gardens and homes, beginning the cycle of life anew. I absolutely love this. I feel the love, same way. Love, 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 and I knew we've been doing a lot of NSA stuff and we're doing ISIS and a lot of depressing Ebola stuff. This is pretty cool, right? It's a good way to respond to unnatural things everywhere. It's kind of what the way it used to work. Yeah. The dirt's supposed to be made up of everything that was ever dead. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, not just broken glass. Our death rituals over the centuries have become more and more in line with our behavior as a culture, yeah. which is we take stuff out of the, the natural world, no. we consume it, and then we don't give it back yeah. because we think that we are very important. I think this is a genuinely great idea. I love the idea of composting. Uh, I have one question. Are we required to wait until after death? <laughs> that is a good question. I'm sure there's people. FAQ on the uh, on the website right, there. Um, how cool is that idea that that because of the process, the natural process that's happening, that it's warm to the touch? I mean, isn't this the stuff we don't we don't talk about death in the right way? Probably for the reasons that you're that you just mentioned. But right, we don't spend enough time actually talking about the the full circle and the nature, uh, the circle of life, right? Yes, well, I'm very selfish and I'm wealthy and I'm going to have myself launched in a rocket into orbit and then from orbit I'm going to have myself dressed as a circus clown but in a business suit <laughs> version of a business clown with an attache and I'm going to be ejected towards Alpha Centauri just to mess with their image of our history. And I'll have a disc of info about humans that's completely wrong. Yeah. Ha ha ha! <laughs> Fuck the universe! I'm coming to mess with you! Ha ha ha! Because right. I'm rich and I can do it! Yeah. And then you land on another planet. And, and then, then, and then they dead, think you're and they God. bring you back to life, yeah. and that's where the movie starts. Oh, it's our, <laughs> our, uh, our instinctive uh, uh, survival instinct has been warped into an irrational fear of death. Uh, with intellect and the inability to see past that moment in time came this vast mystery, and we don't like mysteries. Mysteries freak us out. You gotta solve them in an hour. I want answers for everything. That's right, and, mm -hmm. and, and you got, it's gotta be closed, you need closure. Every, you gotta have closure. You gotta have closure. And it's the age of miracles where everything's answered. That's right. Uh, and also, uh, we, we gave ourselves these, these lies. You know, there's an afterlife. You come back as a, as a gerbil. You, there's all these things that we can come up with. But in fact, we die. And I love the idea that there is somebody who's going, hey, you know what? What if we just kind of accept that we die and that's part of a process? Yeah. That, that's, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, a consciousness-changing idea and I like it yeah. in many ways. Well, I'm glad that we're all on board this. I had a feeling you guys were gonna be on board this. Well, what's the cost? Uh, that is a good question. Do we have a cost? We don't know a cost yet. It's not developed yet. It's not, so it's, it hasn't been developed yet. So it's an idea, it costs nothing. It costs, it's it all support this free idea. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there, it's I'm, a crowdsource I'm sure uh, there's idea. gonna be a Kickstarter okay. or an Indiegogo or something like that. Uh, final, <laughs> final <bucket> thought. Kickstarter. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh. There's an idea. Um, final thought on this, what would you want once they have your compost, once your family has your compost, once your friends have your compost, what do you want them to grow out of you? I would like it to be preserved in formaldehyde and buried in a steel case. You see what he did there? You yes. see what he did? Food. Food. I'd like to be in a, in a vertical farm. Yeah. In a new uh, permaculture vertical farm where they're suggesting taking abandoned buildings that are still structurally yeah. sound and putting in 
greenhouses all through it to grow different layers of kinds of food in the building and feed the entire area organic with filtered air. So you I can't mean, get any GMO uh, pollen through the filters. Yeah. Permaculture. Yeah, I mean, you're not making that up. That is the future of our food sources. We're going to have to do it Yeah. when the outside isn't the friendliest place to do it. Yeah, for me, I will, uh, I'd will. i like everyone to grow mint because I make a hell of a mojito and I want all of my, uh, <laughs> like my friends, I want everyone to think of my death when they're drinking mojitos.